Hi guys, I just want to let you know that I'm super excited about today because when I woke up I realized, you know, <laughs> God loves me, you know, God loves me, I still have a breath, I still have a breath in my lungs because I'm here for a reason and you know, as I was just thinking about faith, I realized that I realized so much change in my life because I used to be scared of reading the Word of God. I used to be scared of reading the Bible because I felt I was going to come across some truths that my reasoning would not, you know, uh, process. And I realized that God is so much great that our minds cannot contain Him. He's so much great that our reasoning cannot wrap our, our minds around. And I was like, but how am I going to read the Bible if I'm going to come across some things that will build doubt in me? And I realized that that is why the disciples were told by Jesus to not leave Jerusalem until they had the Holy Spirit. And when I let the Holy Spirit in my heart, it became so much easier to understand the Word of God because every time when I would read, the Holy Spirit would help me create that shield, the shield of faith with His Word. And I want to I wanna say something that comes from 1 John 5 verse 14. And it reads, And this is the confidence we have in Him. If we ask anything according to His will, <laughs> He will do it. He will do it. So imagine the kind of faith <laughs> that's portrayed in this chapter, in this verse. This is the confidence we have that if we ask of anything, God will do it. So I just want to encourage us today that the faith that we hold should be the same faith that Moses had in Exodus 33 when he said to God, I am not going anyway. I'm not going. We are not leaving this place until we know that we are going with you. May this be the faith that we have with the support of the Holy Spirit. With the support of the Holy Spirit. I remember some time back, I remember we were in primary school. I, 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 I was, my sister needed to go to a school trip and she went to my, my parents and she said, Mom and Dad, I need to go to a trip. I want to go to a trip, school trip. But, you know, I'm so, I really want to go because I've never been there before. And my dad was like, lift your faith. <laughs> Believe in God to provide for us so that you can go to the school trip. And, she said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave the faith. She was super excited because she thought, you know, it's, it was just going to be like one, two, three, boom, you know. And after, just before the trip, I think that was like a, a week before, she, she went to my parents and she was like, did you get the money? And sadly, they didn't have the money. And she asked, so what am I going to do? You know, because I'm so tired of lifting the faith. It's so heavy. I can't carry it anymore. I can hold it. And I was thinking, this is the same place that we are in as Christians. This is the same place that we are in as Christians. The realities of life are just so much for us to really focus on the God that we have faith in. And this is my encouragement to you that the more we read the Word of God, and do it and practice it, <laughs> the more we're going to see God clearer and clearer. All the realities of life will fade away and we get to see God clearer and clearer. So as we continue this journey of life, may we realize that <laughs> the God that we have faith in is so much greater, is so much greater than all these other stumbling blocks, all these wars, all these tribes and tribulations that we're facing in life. So may we hold this faith with the whole help of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Cheers, guys.